Yo guys, what's up? Ryan with janitorleads.com. Looking a little scruffy today. Uh, just got back from the slopes. Remember, I'm living the retired janitor life, and which is my mission to help you guys live that life as well. So click the, the link below to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely wanted to get this video out to you ASAP. It's the number one mistake that janitorial companies make that's really going to prohibit you from being able to crush it. And if you can stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna share what that mistake is so that you can avoid it. And here's a little bit of a hint. Companies like Costco, Southwest Airlines, Quick Trip, all are really experts at avoiding this um, mistake. So stay tuned and you're gonna see what that is. So when I started my janitorial business, can anyone guess what the number one thing that I would never turn down? Leads. Doesn't matter what it was. Um, if I didn't know how to do it, I would do it. So my janitorial company essentially grew into one where of course we started off doing small offices, then we did porter work, uh, then we did clean rooms, then we did restaurants, uh, then we did front of the house, then we did back of the house, then we did industrial cleaning, then we did construction cleaning. Doesn't matter what it is, um, we would do it. I remember when we first started my business and we got this awesome opportunity to do uh, a clean room. I had no idea what clean room was, um, in fact, w my wife and I actually just went out and we researched the heck out of it. We got the opportunity and my wife and I were actually out there stripping and waxing, you know, thousands of square and foot, um, took a ton of time. Um, but that's how I grew my business. I literally took everything that came my way. Now you may say, Hey, you got a, you're retired. That seems like a great strategy. Well, in essence it is but <laughs> there's a big problem with it. So as I was growing my business and I would get into specializing, so we, we, we did a lot of, you know, um, we did office cleaning, we grew into a lot of restaurants. So the, the problem was is that I started to get these specialized divisions. So I would have a general manager that specializes in restaurants or hospitality, a general manager that specializes in small businesses, a general manager that specializes in uh, commercial like multi-tenant industrial or multi-tenant offices. So the problem with that is, is it literally created divisions within my company. Um, it literally created specialists in my company. And these specialists can really start to take um, an unnecessary leverage over you. So you don't want to lose your restaurant specialist because, you know, how are you going to run that business? So they'd be able to have unnecessary leverage um, over you. So if they wanted something, they were probably going to get it. Um, and it really created these divisions with my, within my company. So if I had someone call out from the restaurant division, I really couldn't call on someone from my, um, office division because they had zero idea what one another did. Um, and so that really created, um, that really was not good for company growth. So Remember I told you about the number one mistake that janitorial companies can make? Well, the number one mistake that janitorial companies make is taking every lead that comes their way. More specifically, not knowing what they do that's better, that they do better than anyone else. Um, essentially not focusing, not specializing, um, not simplifying their business. So if I could give you one tip um, and that number one tip is to focus on what you do, um, specialize in what you do so you're better than anyone else, and simplify what you do. So if you're talking about, for example, if you do restaurant cleaning, like let's let's try to really, really focus on what that is. Just don't say, oh yeah, we do restaurants because that could mean you do hoods, you could do front of the house, you could do deep cleanings, you do one-time cleanings. So if you say you do restaurant cleaning, specialize in something and focus on that and do it better than any else. So maybe you go in and you say, I only do front of the house cleaning because that's what all my labor is specialized in. That's what I, that's what I can do better than anyone else. So these companies I mentioned earlier, there's companies like, you know, Costco that really employ this, this, this strategy and companies like Costco are known um, as industry leaders have crushed it revenue wise are able to retain their employees because they specialize in what they do. If, if you would think about someone like Costco, they got concrete floors, they got no directions, they charge a membership fee, they give you your groceries in boxes, they leave their stuff on pallets, but that's because that's done by choice. They're, they're more focused on what 
not to do than what to do. So they're not trying to be everyone to everything to everyone. They're really trying to focus on what they do. So how does this relate to janitorleads.com? Um, well, what it means is before you go to janitorleads.com and before you see all these awesome leads that are in your area, I want you to really, really think, spend some time with your business leader, spend some time with your husband, with your wife, with your family, and decide what it is that your company is going to do better than anyone else. Once you decide what this is going to be, then you can go to janitorleads.com and then you can purchase the lead if it fits in that specialty. Because if you go to janitorleads.com and you're gonna see all these leads that are gonna be really tempting, but you're like, oh, I'm gonna go into window cleaning, or I'm gonna go into hood cleaning, or I'm gonna go into restaurant cleaning. It's very tempting to do, but long-term, it's not gonna help your company be successful. So before you go to janitorleads.com, I want you to focus on what you do, and more specifically, what it is you're not going to do. So don't get tempted by that lead just because you're like, you think it's an opportunity for additional revenue. So you may be asking like, hey, Ryan, you're the owner of janitorleads.com. You make your money by selling janitor leads. Why are you telling me not to go buy it? Because you gotta remember my mission. I'm retired. I'm not trying to make my money off of selling janitor leads. Really what I'm trying to do is give back to you the small business owner, the, the small business owner that helped me get where I need to be, I want to be able to help you get where you need to be. And so that's my number one mission. It's not about selling leads. My number one mission is to help you get where you need to be um, and to give you the tools that you need to be successful. So number one tip, number one mistake is is over, is taking everything. My number one tip is to specialize, to focus, to choose what you're not going to do then go to janitorleads.com and purchase that lead for $7.95. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you soon.